Magic mic. Let me just take this, uh, uh, no, prop, no, no. Don't even want to suggest that, but yeah, I'm doing my thoughts going to Magic Mike. I was originally going to record this in the Terminator video, but honestly, it went on so long, I was like, is it really worth it just, even though it's just going to be a couple minutes, I'm like, so I figured I'd do a separate video on it. Now, as always, there's going to be a written review to the first film, because I really, I'm just going to talk briefly about it, and if you want more in-depth, that's the place to go, and if it's not there right now, it's because it's still being worked on, but it'll probably be up within 24 hours of this video being uploaded. So yeah, the first Magic Mike, I didn't think I was going to like it, just because it looked like a dumb stripper movie for girls, and to some extent it was, but... I, that's not why I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I'm trying to remember. Sorry. Again, like, this is why you consult my review, because I wrote that right after watching the movie, and it was more fresh in my mind, but with Magic Mike, it just seemed really unfocused, um, a little cliche, and at times it just, I felt like it was a little too, like, flashy, like, for film... I really couldn't tell if this film was trying to be like a flashy stripper movie or if it was actually trying to be a serious drama, you know, pretty much, because this is sort of semi-autographical about Shannon Tame's life, so I wasn't sure or what it wanted to be, although, regardless of how I feel, Shannon Tame I thought was really good in the movie, Matthew McConaughey I thought was amazing in the movie, like he was having way too much fun. My yeah, like, shrug. Not terrible, but I just wasn't a big fan. And with Magic Mike 2, my thoughts are more or less similar. It just, I really don't care. Not just because it, the first one didn't interest me, but it, Magic Mike, I just don't see the point of a sequel. Like, the film shown just seemed really complete. It didn't really seem like, no, it didn't need much. And honestly, I just don't see what we could add, get from a Magic Mike 2 again, like, if I'm missing something or if I'm not getting the full story, because I didn't really look at any of the trailers, I want to just sort of go in blind, but yeah, but if there's something I'm missing, just feel free feel to jump in the comments and correct me. But Magic Mike, I just, I really don't see a point. I mean, outside of trying, possibly giving Terminator Genesis some competition, which probably won't work, I mean... Terminator Genesis is probably going to win that weekend just because um, it's a big, bigger franchise. Magic Mike isn't. Although these are two separate audiences, so I don't think it'll interfere that much. But even so, I feel like Magic Mike isn't going to have much of a chance to make Mike. Because the week after that, Minions comes out. And the week after that, Ant-Man. Just with all these big releases, I feel like Magic Mike is 2 is going to get lost in the shuffle. And especially if it's the lackluster sequel, I think it's going to be, yeah, it won't be worth it. And I'm, prob I'm not going to go see it. I mean, it, the only reason why I'd see it is just to take some money away from Terminator Genesis. But even then, it's like, I really don't care. So unless this film is getting a lot of buzz, I probably will never see it. But I mean, if... If something comes up, I'll just watch it on demand or something. But I'm in no rush to see it. But if you disagree or agree, please comment in the comments below. Like, dislike, subscribe, and this is JSTAR60. And I'll see you guys later. Until next time, take care. And just let me get this off. Ah, uh, I'm kidding. Take care.